channel so basically it's results day again results day 2019 to be exact i have my little sister here because i have to look after her but i seriously need to film this video so if you see <laughs> so if you see her, so when you saw her in this video and she's acting crazy then that's why <laughs> By the way, that's very, that's my teddy <laughs> and a key ring. <laughs> now, for anyone who's new to my channel, basically, I originally took my GCSEs in 2018, and I'm gonna recap over my 2018 results so that new people kind of know my original results <laughs> and why I've got new GCSE results. <laughs> I'd like to point out, I originally didn't want to have her on my channel yet, however... <laughs> Maybe. However... I kind of had to. Nibby, can you stop please? I don't want the scruff on my head. It's gonna run, well, there's gonna be a lot of noise, I'm sorry. <laughs> Basically, I'm going to try and go over them as quick as possible. <laughs> For travel and tourism, I got distinction. I got distinction. For, bio For biology higher, I got a five. For chemistry higher, I got a five. For history, option B6, I got a 3. Maths, higher. Libby, <laughs> can you move out of the way, please? Libby, uh, <laughs> maths, I got a 6. <laughs> Physics, I got a 6. Arts and design, so more specific fine arts, I got a 4. English language, I originally got a three. Can you stop kicking that? But then it got, paper two got remarked and I went up to a four. English literature, I got a three and further maths, I got a U. And now, the reason why I'm saying I originally got a three before I got it remarked, is because basically with me having originally got a three, it meant that I was two grades off of getting onto the course I wanted. At, because I didn't have the English grade needed and so it meant I had to do what's known as the GCSE pathway Where are you going? Nothing. I'm going to tell mummy. Livy? No! Stay in here! Olivia! Sit. I'm going up. I'm going Mummy's busy. I don't, I'm going and so basically I had to do this thing called GCSE pathway which meant I retook English can't do mummy's painting. No, we're not going to because she's right below the window. And no, you're not going to look out the window. So now onto the new grades. Now, for also anyone who doesn't know, I need a I need a four in I needed a four in English and in maths in order for me to get on my course. I obviously already got that. However, to kind of make myself look good to the fu my future like I guess teachers it's obviously good to improve your grades okay, now uh, okay so after the I don't actually need a wee break I basically <laughs> don't touch <clears throat> okay now before I continue when I got my results I cut a bag of sweets as well but yeah basically like obviously no obviously i had to retake but on this pathway i was going to take two new gcse's gcse psychology and gcse sociology and so i had to cram two two year gcse's into one year so the results reflect that English language, which is the English I had to retake. I got a six. I'm really 
really really happy with that I would I would have been happy with a five but to get a six is insane and I'd like to point out there is a bag there so Livy stay please Olivia oh that's all you're doing that's all right so yeah I'm really hope really happy with that grade because technically I find that I feel like I finally passed English because I only Livy close the door please close the door because before I only just got a four and so yes I'd got four but I didn't feel as though I'd fully accomplished it because it wasn't like technically wasn't like a solid four like it is but in my mind it sort of wasn't so to get like a solid six is insane what are you doing to Mr Ted? <laughs> poor Mr Ted then for psychology I got a four now to go on with the theme of last year I did barely any revision for psychology because I had two psychology lessons in a day plus then with the support lesson that made three lessons in one day I felt burnt out from psychology and so the lessons like leading up to the exam were revision what are you getting for your bedroom? Livy, leave the door open also on the way back we uh, got McDonald's not like a full McDonald's, just a milk flurry and my sister and my mum got a milkshake I got a dog's fried cake we twerked that at about the same price you've got monkey close the door please but yeah, psychology yeah, I did barely any revision however, because of the burnout like, lessons leading up to the exam were revision lessons and I just had like I just felt burnt out, I felt exhausted from having two psychology lessons in a day I'd rather have it where I have psychology in two days however I obviously can change that now my sociology grade, I am surprised with I think my mum's listening to me so my sociology grade I am kind of surprised with because I did do I did revise for paper one however then paper two I sort of slacked a bit and paper two was really hard like I found paper one easy and most like literally everyone did Libby where are you oh she's only going to her room like most people found paper one of sociology easy and the same with psychology like paper one easy by the way for, socio for sociology we were, with, we were with AQA psychology we were with OCR, English language, AQA again and then for sociology I got a three now as I kind of was saying with last year's GCSE grades I got a three in history and a three in English literature and so I've got three GCSEs at a grade three as I said last year in, in last year's result video I wasn't bothered about history I know I should be and but I generally I genuinely I'm not now obviously in the last year's video I titled it I failed my GCSEs oh my god <laughs> I titled it the page don't close the door okay no you can close the door I titled it I failed my GCSEs and that was misleading to people because I didn't fail all my GCSEs I only failed a couple so I'm sorry for that didn't really mean to offend anybody however that was 2018 me 2019 me a lot more mature different my mindset is a lot different with YouTube as well so yeah which means that of my highest grade which means I have three grade sixes. Okay, so I just found out a story. She really likes being on camera. But basically, it means that I now have three grade sixes at GCSE. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, 
physics and English language. Also, like to point out, I did no revision last for my physics exam yet somehow I got a six. But I am more of a math sciencey person. But I felt like this year benefited me for English because I finally felt like I understood it. Yeah, you have squash in a hydro bottle because it's the only way children get. So yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I'll get my. Obviously, I'll get my um, certificates like November, like start of November time. But that doesn't bother me. And. Yeah, I think that's all I need to mention. Like, yeah, is that all I need to mention, Ruby? Is there anything you want to add? Yeah. Do you want to say anything? Yeah. Mm. Can I scrub? By the way, Scruff is my teddy. I've had him since I was one. And she likes to nick him whenever she's in my room. And you can have him? <laughs> That's Reedy. Key ring. Haven teddy. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> Obviously, okay, so whiskers. Obviously, it's a bit different to what I usually do. And this is a what I usually find my GCSE results are yet to be. Sorry, Mr. Ted. However, I think I had a laugh with this. I hope you guys had a laugh too. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, uh, sorry. If you guys did, don't forget to smash a massive thumbs up for this cute face right here. And this giggly, smiley face. Ah, uh, raccoon. And hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Libby, say bye. Bye. You get away. Say bye. Say that out of your mouth. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye.